hi guys you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is Yvonne princess shabango if you are new here you're welcome to like subscribe share and comment and voila you're part of the graceful the beautiful and the wonderful family like i don't know if you guys actually said my eyes are very teary i like i'm in a very i don't know i'm feeling very 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 emotional um yeah guys uh today um is actually a sad day for south africa and uh for the music industry the entertainment industry because um the greatest one of the greatest um mambinja has passed on like and just like that like um yeah he's no more he lives behind a wife and a child and it's so crazy that in the morning today i was on twitter mm -hmm. and I was reading tweets and stuff like that and a lot of the people kept on bashing him kept on speculating things and all of that and little did they know that this person is probably fighting for his last breath imagine you're bashing a person you're being unkind you're being mean and all of that and this person is fighting for their life they are fighting with everything they are to actually take another breath and you are seated behind hiding behind a phone struggling with your own traumas and saying horrible things Yo. yeah ne? anyway my condolences to the family and um yeah i just feel like it's all of a sudden and i mean life has become short right i mean he was hospitalized um about on the 17th of December, if I'm not mistaken, um, he he got hit by a stroke from a performance. And it's so crazy how, you know, grief, pain, excitement can coexist in, in the same time, in the same season. Because look, for example, he released Nyege, a beautiful hit song, possibly Mwam Lam Nyaga, right? A song of the year, possibly, right? And then he goes and performs, he's having a good time. Then he gets home. He gets hit by a stroke and he performed and I think it goes back to saying everything you do do it with the best of your abilities and do it with love and passion and all of that can you just imagine he didn't know that that performance was his last performance like literally that was it that was his last performance and that was his last performance in his career like that was it you know and it goes to show that um, in every single thing we do, we need to put in the best we can, uh, do things that make us happy, be with people that make us happy, spend most of our lives leaving, laughing, loving, and being in the places that genuinely see us for who we are. Because imagine the way life has become very short. You spend so much time trying to impress people that don't care about you, trying to fit into squads that don't care about you, and you wake up next morning, we are banned, or you're in the mortuary. Like, yeah, it's, it's really sad, guys. It's, it's really saddening. And um, yeah, life has really become very, very, very short. And um, it's entirely up to us how we want to live our last days. Um, do you want to leave a worried person? Do you want to leave a person in doubt? Do you want to leave a person in a box? You can't be yourself because of A, B, C, D, or you can't carry yourself a certain way because you're afraid that society is going to say this, society is going to do this. One day you wake up, you don't have another chance. You don't have another chance to do you. You don't have another chance to be you. You don't have another chance to go for the things that you love. You don't have another chance to say, I love you. You don't have another chance to care for the people that you love which is why i can never stress this enough um it's very very important to love the people that we love genuinely if you say you love people show them love give them their flowers when they're still alive um treat them with kindness with respect and all of these beautiful things and um i think also in the times that we live in right um avoid being in spaces that suffocate you you know um move away from spaces that suffocate you because like i said for me right now it's so scary that um we do so much to please people we do so much to impress people we do so much to be seen by society we do so much to be validated and you wake up one day you can't breathe and everyone is coming with the sobbing story oh sorry man uh condolences to your family but when you are alive you didn't get your flowers. When you were alive, people were bashing you. When you were alive, like, things were not looking up. 
you know um yeah it's it's it's, it's really it's really saddening man um my prayer goes to his whole family um my prayer goes to babe sodumo i mean she she's a mom she's a new mom like the child is not even like three two like i can only imagine how this season or moment feels for her so my biggest prayer to her to the family and to the child you know um i mean as a child you you want to have both your parents around and all of that i mean yeah and from the videos from the socials we saw which man picture them time the sponge like any small an opportunity sponge 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 you know and um it's sad that babes has to go this journey alone um i i pray and hope and believe that god um i'm wearing this shirt it's written he recovers he restores he redeems i i really pray that um god gives her strength gives her courage and um yeah and also we we, we give them respect in this time of mourning in this time of grieving and all of these things and we allow her to be and um guys on the socials let's be kind stop following people you don't like um if if you don't like people don't follow them uh if you don't like people don't interact with them um because that's the thing we have this bad habit of um following people we don't like um so that we can find mistakes in them so that we can we can bash them you know we, it's like we follow these individuals that we don't like and we're waiting for them to make a mistake and then um when they make a mistake we want to validate why we we don't like them or why we hate them or why their work is not good enough or why they can't be selected for a certain position guys just stop like life is so short for you to waste your time behind a phone bashing people behind the phone being unkind like we all have um our social medias the least you can do is follow people you like engage with their content positively be kind to them be respectful to them but stop like this whole thing of trying to follow people so that you can invalidate them so that you can recruit people to be like yeah i told you guys yeah if one is this or that no mm -mm. you guys not in this season the way things are happening we literally probably living in the last last days and you don't want your last days to be filled with sorrow with pain with shame and all of these things and um yeah man like i said it's, it's really sad that on twitter my binge was trending and people were busy bashing him people were saying horrible things about him in the morning this morning and nice all and this is a person who's fighting for his life guys a person uh taking his last breath do you realize how horrible and how cruel we can be as human beings? A person is fighting for their life. You're concerned about their weight. Really? The same thing happened with Chadwick. People were bashing him, bashing him, bashing him. Did we know that he was taking his last breath? Did we know that he was fighting cancer? We didn't know. And also another thing, you don't have to know people's circumstances to be kind. Like you can wake up and choose kindness whether or not you know they're going through the most or not like i don't have to go through stuff for you to be kind to me or you don't have to go through stuff for me to be kind to you like i think it's it's very 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 important that we we choose to be kind remove yourself from things that you don't like things that you're uncomfortable with if you see so and so is posting music you don't so good there's there is a target market there is people that enjoy that music. There is people that enjoy his taste, whatever the case may be. I know people have this thing of saying, oh no, when you put yourself to the public, you open yourself to scrutiny and all of, yes, that happens. But you don't have to be hostile. Like, you don't have to be hostile. Like, we live amongst people, I don't know, sometimes I ask myself, Buti, really? Is this a human being who typed this? Like, what type? Are? And you were like, I'm posting this. Like, you didn't think about it. Yo, oh, guys no same be like yo yo and it goes back there's a conversation i was having with my sister uh and 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 and, and my girls right we chilled we're talking and talking and then you know my sister said something she's like i wish your relationship with a specific person um is ironed out i was like no i don't want it you know and um she was like no but i want i'm like no that's the thing we constantly want to be in good books with people that 
we 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 consume ourselves like you drain yourself so much trying to be this good person to people trying to fit into the box and you exhaust your energy and that's the thing you don't even know when your last day is imagine trying to your last day is today and you spend it trying to show someone that you're a good person or trying to show someone that you're good enough or trying to show someone that your dreams or yourself or you're valid or you're feeling no i was like i'm definitely not doing that in 2023 I will wake up and be, spa be in spaces that choose me, be in spaces that allow me to be, be in spaces that um, be in spaces that that allow me to be, be in spaces that actually allow me to be to be me, to be myself, be in spaces that enhance me, spaces that make me grow, spaces that make me better. This thing of forcing ourselves in situations—it's not it. I can't imagine myself dying and 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 my last month of 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 breathing i was trying to prove to people that i'm good enough i was trying to prove to people that i'm valid i was trying to prove to people that i can you know nah nah like i'm like it's either you're going to believe that i'm good or not that's it um it's either you're going to believe i'm for you or not and that's it like it, it doesn't go beyond that because we, we stress ourselves so much we put ourselves under so much pressure trying to be a perfect human being and really one life you have one life one life to live it this is i think the worst thing about okay not maybe it's the best as well but the the, the most unfortunate part about life is that i could not trial and error this is only one life so you you're not saying when you're on trial and error you will come back and live the way you would like no this is it this is life the, you know what this is where you live and it's, it's so sad that we spend most of our days trying to be enough for people that don't care about us and yeah everyone behind the phone on social media be kind guys be kind be nice um i mean tomorrow is christmas and um yeah to people that are gathering with their families stop with funny remarks if if, if really you go to family gatherings to observe who's doing what or who's where just stay home you know and also if you feel like family gatherings can be taxing for you don't go there your happiness your mental wellness yourself is much more important you know so let's let's really do better in the coming year or even not in the just starting now starting now let's do better um yeah let's let's just do better because you don't know this could be your last second this could be my last second and i'm sure you want your last second to be fruitful to be worthwhile um one of uh before i close off this video i just came here to say let's be kind let's leave let's laugh let's love let's be light to the world and uh also just to say condolences to family Pincha, his friends and everyone else and i can imagine that big nas afrotainment will never really be the same without him but my condolences goes to all of you but before i close this off i i I just want to say uh, as a person I live on one principle they're okay, not even one many principles but uh, one of the best principles is um, leave laugh love and show up um, and I'm like just to close it off do things that make you happy guys no one will like that's another thing no one will come and tell you that even you're unhappy that's the thing you have to know it you have to choose yourself you have to like yeah i can't stress this enough just do things that make you happy do things that make you happy be in rooms that uh validate you in rooms that make you happy and because we live uh, under god's messes um stay prayed up stay prayed up like stay prayed up if there's any other time you should be praying it's now look after yourselves drink your water be healthy um exercise move around treat each other well and yeah from me to you i'm sure you guys are wondering this is probably one of the few times where her image is like but yeah like like my heart is broken you know don't forget to like subscribe share and comment god bless you don't forget to be light and love